Greetings, beautiful people. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about the educational system um, and the conditions uh, that you're in at the moment due to the educational system, okay? Now, you could do a simple Google search, okay? And if you look at, um, you know, children starting uh, kindergarten, all right? You got kindergarten and then they come up, you know, all the way up to eighth grade, but they, they call that elementary school, okay? Now, when you look at the word elementary, it deals with the elements, okay? See, they start to teach kids language, and this is where the imbalance starts. When you have language, okay? I always talked about this. Let's say if language didn't exist, okay? What thoughts would be going through your head that attach to language? You know what I'm saying? Now, in order for us to communicate with each other, we would have to use energy. We would have to use telepathy, right? Now, all these things exist. Telepathy, telekinesis, pyrokinesis, all these things exist, but nobody ever talks about it, okay? These are abilities that become weaker and weaker, and they eventually go dormant the older we get. Because the moment that you start talking, okay, that telepathy muscle goes to sleep, okay? It's something that has to be exercised. Now, we were supposed to be teaching our kids the energy, the elements, and how our body is conductive to the element that is earth because the earth consists of all these elements, okay? Now, how often in school, at least I was never taught this, but they taught me to ground, they taught me to look at the sun. On the contrary, they told me to, to, to not look at the sun because it was going to make me blind. Yet I've looked at the sun now at 12 noon when it's at its highest. And I mean, I can see fine. I still got very, very good vision. 2020. Matter of fact, I'm actually able to see better um, even at nighttime. Okay. Now, if you start to look at kids when they go through high school now, high school is basically going into your higher self. So they're supposed to teach kids the elements, okay? The elements come all the way up to your heart. Your heart, if you look at the word heart and you rearrange it around, it, 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 turns, it turns into earth. Take the H in front of heart and put it behind the word and you get earth, okay? So now, once they learn all these elements, they go to high school. That's, that's the gateway to the heart, which is literally going into your higher self now, okay? In high school, they're supposed to teach you from the heart up how to manage your energy centers from here, okay? How to manage vibrations, how to, uh, you know, how to, how to manage sight, okay? Your, uh, your third eye and your crown chakra, okay? After high school, it goes into university, okay? With university, they're supposed to teach you about universe, the universe, the universal energy, how to create, manifest, okay? Do you notice how from the moment that you go to school, they teach you language, your, tele your telepathic abilities go dormant, all your, your uh, super sensory um, elements go dormant. Now, you're in a physical body, okay? Phi body, phi, physical means five. You have five senses that they only associate you with. You got five fingers, okay? And if you notice, everything is five when it comes to this physical reality, okay? If you were to learn the elements, okay, you will learn beyond those five senses, okay? This is why we associate ourselves with our body, okay? Because that's all we know from birth is only the association of our five senses, okay? How often do we teach kids to go into the dark and meditate? See, there's the balance between the light and the dark, see? If we go in darkness, right, where we, we teach kids about, um, you know, monsters and all these fictitious fucking demon shit. And this goes into their subconscious mind. So subconsciously now we are afraid of God for that reason because we were programmed like that. OK, they don't teach the kids the natural state or human nature. OK. Everything is a program that that's what it is is a program. Okay, a system the belief system Okay, 
We never teach them to be in their natural state or, or human nature. You never hear human program or human system. You know what I mean? We have systems in our body, like the respiratory system, the uh, digestive system, and all these systems. Do we know how to manage these systems though? These are the systems that are attached to us. Now, this is why getting to know thyself is important in the mechanical way and in the metaphysical way, physical and metaphysical. Now, if we know ourselves physically, we will know what fuels belong in our body. And then we would know also how to cleanse ourselves. Because the thing is, we put, see, I go to school, my son's school, and these kids are eating cheeseburgers, Cheetos, and fries, and all this garbage that doesn't go in there, and they're doing it from the youngest state. See, our body is made of 70 to 80% water. And this always changes on Google for some reason. Okay? But we always associate with the physical part. Okay? Look at the bones. The bones from the bone marrow make blood. So you can make liquid from the solid. You understand what I'm saying? Now, why are we always focusing on the muscles, muscle mass, mass, you know what I mean? The kids um, growth and, and size. You get what I'm saying? That's unnatural. Okay? Unnatural. But here's the thing. It's not their fault. Nobody to judge. Because here's the thing. There was a point where I was working in the supplement business and I was telling people they should eat six times a day. The bigger you are, the better you are. And, um, you know, pre-workouts are good for you. All these things with these artificial chemicals and sweeteners in there is, 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 uh, is good for you. And listen... I also told them you should be eating six times a day. You should eat a lot of meat. Um, this is going to get you bigger and stronger. But I felt good about it. But why? Because I was not in the know. I didn't have the awareness. You see, people have, you could get knowledge anywhere. But knowledge is depending on how aware you are. You see, people talk about their awakened and this and that. But let's say, for example, you see, there's parasites in your body. Okay. If you don't like what's in your physical world, okay, people want to change everything physical outside of them, okay? When in reality, all you need to do, it, let's say if you're fighting with your brother, okay, and your brother is a toxic person to you because he's always giving you toxicity. Let's say if you do a cleanse and you clean these parasites out of your body, out of your body either, either your brother will disappear or he'll change his ways. One of the two, okay? Now, you could look at financial gurus, your creators, the universe is in you, okay? You could hear spiritual people talk about this. Your life is a reflection of what you project out, okay? See, people want to do these 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 diets right away. Let's say they, they, they become consciously aware now, but they want to eat high vibrational foods, okay? First, you need to clean the parasites because, listen, fruits taste good. These parasites will eat... Anything that tastes good to you. So if something is bitter and nasty tasting, parasites don't like that. The reason they live in you is because they are attached to you. Uh, they're attached to you and they, they feed off what you like. So for example, you like donuts, you get addicted to donuts. Okay, They stay in your system and this is what they feed on, the sugars. Now, you also, that's called the, the gut yeast, the, the parasites. Okay? If your insides are dirty, okay, your outside is going to project that. Your outside is going to look like that, okay? These are big secrets. The key is now to learn how to clean your body, okay? Now people will go into like a GNC and buy a seven-day cleanser and stuff like that, and that's not how it works because I'll tell you right now, your body is a liquid system. You're made of 70 to 80% water, maybe more, okay? Your brain consist mainly of water. What do you think a dehydrated, uh, dehydrated brain looks like? It looks fried, okay? You're an electromagnetic being, okay? You can move electricity through water. Can you move it through meats and oils and all that? No. So now, here's the thing. There's hacks to this cleanse, okay? And I'm going to make that on my next video. This video, I want to talk about how the education system started kids all wrong, okay? And they started them wrong because they didn't teach them about the elements. Now, getting to know yourself 
is important. You'll learn about this. This is what schools are supposed to be teaching kids. Okay? Now, getting to know yourself comes down to you drinking your own elixir, your own urine. Okay? Now, they'll tell you your, your urine is waste. It's toxic. The reason it's toxic is because of what you're ingesting. What are you putting in your mouth? See, kids go to school to be informed, to learn information. But everything, you notice how even everything starts with religion. That's why I say the religious um, world rules the planet. Because notice they masculinize everything. They shut off the feminine energies. Even you talking, that's you doing something outside. Okay? Notice how when you were doing something telepathically... That's you tapping into energies inside of you and you're connecting it with somebody else through chemi chemistry, okay? Now, we shut off that ability. That's a feminine aspect of ourselves that we shut off, okay? Now, if we were to teach kids to connect inside with themselves and look at their body as something that they can talk to and communicate with, okay, this world will be a much better place. Okay, much better place. We wouldn't have the stresses in the system that keep you in that left brain state because the thing is that we're always focusing on things outside of us. Bills, relationship, um, making money. You know what I mean? When, if we're supposedly the smartest species, why are we the stupidest ones in the beginning? See, we pay for land that should be free. We pay for food that we should be growing ourselves because we are creators. We should be creating the vegetation and the plants to grow this. We're supposed to be teaching this to kids to work with the land, work with the elements, learn how to make compost, learn how to mineralize the ground so that these fruits that these plants bear will give them all the nutrients because people think it's all about protein, but it's not all about protein. See, protein, your muscles already make the protein. How do your muscles make the protein? Through the nitrogen in the air. So if you take, if you start to practice breath, you always want to correlate with protein. People could go without eating for like literally 40 to 60 days. But how long can you go without breathing? You can't go for a long time without breathing. No more than like 20 minutes. I've seen maybe the world record. And how long can you go without water? See, these things go into the priority of what your body needs. So you have air. You have water and then you have food. But food was never meant to be something to, to give you the nutrients. You see, here's the thing. The air and the water is what combines to give you the nutrients. The food that you eat, we were once grazers and that we put in our mouth was meant to be just information. Why do you think the shamans know exactly how to manage the ayahuascas and the DMTs and then you ask a shaman and they'll tell you we learn because the plants communicated that with us. You hear what I'm saying? The plants communicated this information to us. Okay? We make DMT in our brain. Okay? The plants create DMT. Everything that's living has DMT. Yet it's an illegal substance. Right? But we have alcohol. We have cigarettes. These are legal. Right? Because they destroy you and it keeps the pharmaceutical industry rich. Okay, see, this is what knowledge is about. But how many people, do you see, this is why I consider people on YouTube who watch videos, parasites also. Because how many people watch videos and they don't apply that knowledge? See, because you can have all this knowledge. But if it's not applied, what good is that knowledge? You know what I'm saying? This is supposed to be taught from the young age. And that's the point that I'm trying to teach my kid at. You know what I mean? So he's the next generation. We have to change our mindsets. We have to keep an open mind. When we hear things like, drink your own urine, are you really open-minded to that? You're going to be like, hell no, that's disgusting. Knowing that that's the quickest way to clean your body. I look at that as the distilled water in your system. You have the solar plexus. This is your sun. The urine is the liquid distilled in your body. You don't want still water, but you want distilled water, right? Now, if you drink your urine, you're literally... Go look up what urine has. 95% water. 95% water. Clean. The cleanest water. Now, they if you go on Google and it says it's waste, they have, the rest of it is trace minerals and then it has waste. But Google what is the waste that comes out of the urine. It's very hard to find. The urine, the waste that comes out is nitrogenous waste. The nitrogen is created from the meats that you're eating, but you can get the nitrogen from the air. You see what I'm saying? So the foods that we were eating once upon a time was not meant to, 
for us to eat to keep us in nutrient in a nutritious state. It was meant for information. You ingest sound through your ear, information. You look, information. Smell something, information. Everything signals to the brain. But why? Even when we touch something, it's information. So look at those five senses all correlate with information. How many people correlate what they put in their mouth with information? Nobody. In, the, in fact, what they do is they force the, the bodybuilding industry forces you to eat six times a day feeling all bloated and shit. How do you get to know yourself when you have all that distortion in you? Because your body, your stomach is another brain. If you open your stomach, it looks like a brain. Your brain is connected to your to your brain. To your, your stomach is connected to your brain. Why do you think? See, this is why people overeat because they're fucking stupid. They don't know themselves. They, don't, they eat quick and then it takes 20 minutes for your stomach to signal to the brain that it's full. So that doesn't tell you that your your stomach is connected to your brain. When you have a gut feeling about something, right? Listen to that intuitive gut feeling. Nobody listens. They're only connected to their to their to their brain. See, if your gut is clean, you're not gonna worry. If your gut is clean, you won't have all that stress, all that nonsense in your uh, in your gut, because all that gets signaled to your brain, and that's why people are stressed out. You create your own hell here. See, we have to teach the kids this. If you have money, let's say, and money is energy, okay? You're not attached to it though. But if you have money, right? You need money in this three realm reality. Everything's balanced. What do you do with that money? The first thing you do, what do you do? You buy a house, you buy an expensive car, and then you put yourself in debt. You put yourself in that prison. You created your own hell there. Instead of using it for an experience or building a community, buying land, growing food, self-sustaining, not depending on anybody. See, we're like children. We believe in God. We believe in religion. That's like a kid believing in Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny. Wake the fuck up, man. You know what I mean? We depend on the government. There comes a moment in time where we got to mature. We got to leave our parents. We leave the dependency of this fucking government. But they want to keep you dependent on it. Through health care. Through all this bullshit. See, this is what kids are being taught. To go out into the world and make money. And live the American dream. What the fuck is the American dream? This is the biggest step. Is cleaning your body. Purifying your body. But if here's the, the key. is They keep you eating garbage. So that you cannot ingest your own elixir. They tell you that you should eat a certain amount of food. To keep your body distorted. See the more garbage you put. If I just told you that whatever you're eating is information. And you're overeating. How can you get information from the foods? If you're eating genetically modified foods, okay? Genetically modified means that they're taking two, two species or two genes and splicing them together. That's distortion of energy, of, 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 of information, okay? That's what you're ingesting. Now it's hard for you to get information from the food you eat. See, kids, for example, were able, if, if you never introduce the kid to candy, he will never, he won't even want, he'll never grow an addiction for candy. But can you grow an addiction to blueberries, apples, bananas? No, and they taste great. What's the natural state? We're taught that, oh, we were to go hunting. Look at kids, kids play, you put a tarantula in front of a kid, he'll play with it. He don't see the dangers in it, he'll play with it. Right? We instill that fear in the kid. How do we know that that tarantula doesn't bite that kid? Because, see, tarantulas or animals react to your vibrations. So even cobras. Cobras, if you don't show fear and you're in the most meditative state, a cobra will chill with you. This is proven. I saw uh, a video with this uh, he's, he's a sad guru. Okay? If you're meditating, a cobra will actually stay with you and meditate. See, cobras have a pineal gland, but we look at that as an evil serpent, right? We teach the kids fear. The moment that an animal strikes at you is because it reacted to the fear that you projected out. And in defense, that animal reacted by, by striking at you. See, kids will play with a tarantula. A tarantula most likely won't even bite the kid. He's not in that realm of reality or in that frequency and vibration. See, we create through a strong emotion. So the moment we put ourselves in that fear, we're in fight or flight. But through that emotion, that's a strong emotion. See, we're in a dense realm of reality. So the denser and lower vibration our feeling here is, the more in frequency it's going to become to this realm of reality. So we're able to manifest it quicker. You notice how it's easier to have bad thoughts, but it's harder to have good thoughts. 
Why? Because bad thoughts are denser and they come down into this realm of reality a lot easier. See, lightweight thoughts, we have to go up to that frequency and grab it. Sometimes even people, do you go on their level? Let's say if somebody pisses you off, do you see if you're vibrating high and somebody outside of you is pissing you off? You may have a parasite in you, right? Cleanse your body and that won't, exi that, that won't exist in your reality. But here's the thing. Some people feed into that. So if you're vibrating high, you have to come down to their frequency to have a negative experience with them. But if you, for example, keep your ego in check, which is your body, okay? You can't kill your ego. Your, your ego is your friend. And I'm going to make a video on the ego. Your ego is your body. That's what it literally is. Your higher self is you. But your consciousness is always in you. you, you it's on autopilot because your body is literally on autopilot. You think you're your body. So your body is always defending itself. It's always on that defensive mode. So what do you do? You're in your ego and you go into that frequency and vibration and feed into that energy that that person is robbing from you. This is a computer program, okay? And we have to know how to operate these systems. But the systems is us. We are the system. The moment we associate our conscious... Why do you think when you ask to project or go out of body, okay? That's your consciousness outside of the body. That's all it is. We have, And now when you meditate and you become enlightened, okay? Enlightenment, it means that you all become one. So I'll talk about what I, I look at when I, how I look at life after death. This is important. This is what we should be teaching kids. Knowing thyself is the most important thing, a clean vessel. Do you, see, when you want to fly, you want to keep your body lightweight, that's all you got to do is keep your body light. Don't have attachments. If you're going to look at knowledge on the internet, learn how to ask the right questions. If you're going to look at information on YouTube, because you're going to get bombarded with a lot. See, I'm at that point or was at that point in time where I was just looking at information. I was getting myself into conspiracy theories, looking at so much information. But why? Because my spirit now became aware of the fact that everything I learned in school was trash. So now I got into that. I need to learn so much and I put so much information in my head. You know what I mean? But do I feed into it? See, this is the next step. It's not feeding into the information, only extracting the knowledge. And the cleaner your vessel is, you're able to know if the information that's coming at you is resonating with you. And then you're able to digest that information. Start connecting dots. Because you are what you eat. Okay? You are what you eat. So if you're going to... And listen, when you eat food... Normally, you have to digest. You have to chill out and metabolize. That food. You're not going to go running because it's going to make you sick. You're going to have an indigestion. When you listen to information, I suggest you meditate on it. That's your way of digesting that information. Because the same way food is information, if we were to meditate while we eat and really chew. See, right now we chew and we're texting at the same time doing different shit. See, this is why if you eat, right, savor it, absorb it, love it. The digestion starts in the mouth when it goes in your body. Now you're able to tap into that frequency. You become higher vibration. But if you don't clean your body, you cannot match the frequency of the food that you're intaking. It's the same way that if you are listening to a video and you're not in frequency with that person that you're listening to, you won't understand that information. You have to go back and listen to it again. So it's important.